dating will never be the same again. We are forever changing to humans, and this is our new normal, which is dating more intentionally and mindfully. You want to limit who you're meeting up with. Like, we're limiting even friendship and like families. Like, why would that be different for dating, especially when there's even more chance of close contact? It's taught me you have to really set your own standards as to what you're looking for. And not in a horrible way, but you have to be slightly ruthless. So you have to be able to say, it's been great chatting to you. Maybe we're just friends, there is no chemistry. sense of trust in that person in order to meet them and I think you know it's not a bad thing really to be able to set boundaries it's a good way to test if that person's going to listen to you know your needs um, in terms of personal space and what you're looking for certain height, certain race, certain age, but now everyone just kind of put check all of the above. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think especially with like Black Lives Matter, that's probably only predicted to go even higher. Like I think a lot of people are reevaluating preferences on dating apps. I think a lot of dating apps are removing preferences. One would definitely be just date yourself and meet your feelings head on. This is the best use of your time. There's actually a huge opportunity to really use this time to get to know people. With, you know, dating apps and having like virtual communities online, like there's many places that you can recreate this. I think a lot of people, what we call is the dater view situation, mm -hmm. where you go on dates and it's like the same interview questions. So right now we're seeing people get a lot more creative with how to facilitate connection virtually.